Hello and welcome to TGI Cabinet Works. My name is Tony and I'll be your host through this series of introducing you to what you need to know if you're interested in working a kitchen or renovating the one you have. We're standing in my showroom and here we have a working showroom, which means we're not all just the space of simple kitchens all into themselves. We actually have different things in each cabinet to show the customers what they're looking for, show them how things function, and with people cleaning and walking around the camera. For years we've been working with our clients, and when they come in and deal with us, we like to take the time to go through them and educate them about the kind of materials that go into their cabinetry, um, the kind of finishes that are used, the options that are available. There's a lot of stuff on the market, and a great deal of it can be very confusing. There's a lot of information out there, and every manufacturer is a little bit different. So we thought it might be helpful to narrow down the very specifics that you need to know. This is mostly just general knowledge, and it will vary from manufacturer to manufacturer, but for the most part, you should be able to find a lot of similar stuff out there. Now for this series, we're going to be basically focusing on frameless kitchens or European kitchens. There are other kitchen styles out there. The other ones are the traditional style or the face frame kitchens. Those other manufacturers have an entirely different world when making things like that. And for our purposes, as we are a frameless manufacturer, we're going to stick to frameless cabinetry. Throughout this series, we're going to walk through all the types of doors that you can get, the different kinds of doors you can get, the different kinds of materials that they come in, as well as the construction of the cabinets. There are differences in materials, um, longevity, and function. Hardware is another thing, which means uh, hinges and drawer slides, uh, soft clothes, not soft clothes, a um, few things that you need to know. It's not a lot, there's a few things you need to know. Two things that are generally most common when you're going to look at cabinets are one is the fronts, the doors, or the kinds of things that are hang, hanging on them. And the other thing is the material that you use to make the cabinet itself, the box. So we're going to start with that. So there's three kinds of basic materials on the market that most people utilize. Um, particle board, um, MDF, and plywood. And in each one of those, there's also another high selection of finishes, um, foils, and durability. So here we have an example of a typical particle board for white melanin product. This is probably the most common product used in cabinets today. Um, pros and cons with everything. Um, the pros with something like this is that the melamine surface that they put on it, which is essentially just a very, very thin plastic laminate, is quite durable, quite resistant to scratches, uh, stands up very, very well. The negative part is the particle board core. Now this product isn't particularly fantastic. Um, it does not carry weight the same as a plywood. It's not as happy around moisture, uh, not that anything is, but this less so. Probably the lifespan on this product isn't the same as a plywood, but there's also pros and cons to that. Um, it is the most common because it is the cheapest and the easiest to work with. The other product that's on the market now, and has been for some time, Blyden has been around for many years. A few decades back, they finally gave us a product that is a plywood core that has a birch veneer on it that is finished with a spray. So it's a clear finish like a lacquer. Pros and cons of this. The pros, of course, is plywood. So pretty much everybody knows plywood is the superior material when you're fabricating something. Uh, the downside to this product is that the finish they spray over the veneer to protect it wears off over time. So high traffic areas in the cabinets, like plates, cups, the kind of things that slide in and out of your cabinets every day, tend to break the finish down. And very soon, you'll be finding that the clear finish is worn off and you're down to the wood veneer itself. And it gets very ratty very, very quickly. The other product they've come up with in the last several years is a hybrid finally. So it's a particle board surface. So it's got a melamine surface. It has a plywood core. So you've got the best of both worlds. You've got the strength of the plywood and the durability of the white melon. Now this is more expensive for obvious reasons. So but this has become the most popular plywood we use now because it's the best in the sense that it's the strongest with the best durability. So the last thing we need to discuss about the materials limitations. 
Good material, plywood core, not only the surface, to date only comes in white. Pre-finished birch plywood only comes this way. Melanin, however, has a tremendous amount of versatility, colors and grain textures and quite a bit. So if you're looking for something specific when you open the door in your cabinet and you want to see it, this product will give you the flexibility. Keeping in mind, they still make it with a particle board core, so its ability to withstand the texture, the tortures of time, is going to still be limited. Here's an example of some of the melodies that you can get. Now, it's very similar to flooring in that regard because the cores are still made out of particle board. The melamine coverings that are put on are quite variant. The limitation is though is your doors. So you can get panels and all sorts of interesting textures and features and colors. As you can see there's quite a selection. These are probably not coming through in the video, but there's quite a heavy texture. So at first glance you actually think that was real wood. The downside is your doors. Here's some examples of the kinds of colors you can do with melamine for doors. But here's your limitations. Usually they're going to be a square edge like this, so they're taped. These come in four by eight sheets. They're cut and then they're edge banded to match. So if that's the sleek style you're going with, these are options that you can get away with. You can see there's quite a rare degrees and these are quite heavily textured, so most people wouldn't know these aren't real wood, but they look like it when you first see them.